Hey guys, Fenno here, and uh, today I have this extremely quick 3x3 three three door for you. Now, keep in mind, it is one of the first 3x3s three I've ever done, and this works in both directions, meaning north, uh, north, south to west, east. And uh, yeah, let's get into the tutorial right now. So, you want to play some sticky pistons. Remove the bottom two, and I'll just go around the door frame defining that right now because otherwise, you won't be able to <laughs> follow quite well. So, that's the door frame. Then, go out, block here, block right above there, lever on there, a torch, and then place a sticky piston next to the torch block on the side so it looks like this so now you should get this movement this is just a one tick pulse now if you I'm just gonna do this real quick um, yeah if you have a torch from the bottom torch block up with a torch above the piston and place another sticky piston on there that should give you this movement so it pushes up two blocks now we're just going to start with the double extender retracting the double extender what you want to do is go out from the lever place the torch or the torch that's already there go down so you have this place a block either there or there as long as the torch is in this space then from that torch go out into this repeater into the sticky piston on a f on a four tick delay. This will give you this movement. Uh, so that's gonna quickly push up the block. Now go out from this redstone dust with two repeaters. Sticky piston block on top. Blocks like this. Block our uh, redstone there. A repeater then uh, that a block then grab your half slabs or glowstone if you are really rich in survival oh, but I doubt anyone is and then cover this entire thing with redstone now this is basically your entire um, double extender as you can see it's quite fast and now we want it Nope, <laughs> now I want to grab some more blocks and of course this is where we'll have the sticky pistons. Now it's quite obvious that the bottom one is going to extend quite, um, yeah, it's, it's just obvious. So we'll see the bottom one extending now, retracting. But then we want this as well. So just place a torch there, that will do stuffs. Do that. Out from this redstone dust, one up. Another one up. Go above this piston. So we'll have this. Now into there. That's going to go into a block and knock out this block for just a second. Stick your piston above and another block. Then what you want to do is go out from the redstone dust pointing into this block with a repeater with redstone underneath. Now we want to power all these pistons. Of course, that's going to happen. Um, there you go. So, we want to power all those. Of course, you can do the top one quite easily by doing that. Um, and the middle one. The bottom one is a bit harder, but that's uh, when either a powered rail or um, a fence gate comes into play. So yeah, that's what you want to have there. And then just fill in your frame. That's uh, that's all, really. There you go. 
Now, you could cover this all with redstone so it's a bit more in sync. Yeah, it's just that tad bit slicker. So yeah. But you could also... Mm, no, that's... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. You can go out from this and have the piston get activated by a thingamajig. By a repeater going out from either one of those uh, lines. Then you'll have it decently fast. As well. Yeah, I like this one. I don't know. You can fiddle with the top if you really want to. It's um, it's pretty easy, I'd say. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.